Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. You can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Good morning, KCI. Today is June 15, 2015, day one on our schedule. My name is Osama. And my name is Ishmael. And isn't it an amazing sunny day today, Osama? It sure is. And guess what, guys? Two more days and exams are going to start. And then summer break. Oh, my God. Yo, did you have the delicious pancakes at the grad breakfast today? I'm stuffed from all that good stuff, man. Oh, well, yeah, man. That, that stuff was good. Thanks yeah. to everyone that planned that amazing event for us. <laughs> now it's what's going on there. Well, students who applied for the Toronto Catholic District School Board Summer School and haven't picked up their permission forms, please see Ms. McKay at lunch today. Back to you, Osama. Thanks, Ishmael. High school students are needed for a volunteer opportunity at the University of Toronto. You would be kit stuffers for the week of August 24th to 28th, helping us assemble over 1,000 frosh kits that will be given out to the incoming first-year university students. Lunch and snacks for the students are provided each day. For more information, please see Ms. McKay in student services. Now to a hot to a hat video by Billy. And we're back kipping. Anyone who needs help with applying for OSAP should see Ms. McKay as soon as possible for instructions on how to do so. <clears throat> also, everyone should start preparing for exams. They're starting on Wednesday, June 17th. Make sure you study so that you do well. And if you have any questions about anything, ask your teachers now because you won't have time later. Now on to a video for more exam tips by me. Hey Kipling, it's that time of the year again. Exams and ISUs are coming up. But don't worry, I'm here to help you. Follow me. This is the place.
place to be if you want information on how to do well. Let's go ask some people what their secret to success is. What's some advice that you would give to the younger students in the school for ISUs and exams? My tip, my number one tip is don't do it the night before because that will result you in a failing mark and like you're not going to have enough time to completely finish the assignment or your ISU that you have to do. What are some tips you have for the students who are going to be doing the ISUs and exams pretty soon? My tip for younger kids that are going to be doing their combinatings is to make sure that you check your rubric because there's always hidden messages in there that will get you a better mark, so make sure you look at that. And for exams, make sure you ask your teacher about any questions that you have so that you get a good mark. Hey, Ms. Sedge, what are some tips and tricks that you would give to the younger students in the school to be successful? I have three tips for you. Don't put off your work. Procrast procrastination is your enemy. It, will, it won't go away. Just do it when you get it. That's number one. Number two, do you remember what you learned in February? Start reviewing now. Go back to what you learned in February, and then you're ready for the exams. And the third biggest one, ask for help. So you guys should take all these tips when your exams come up. The next announcement is for all Muslims in school. Ramadan is coming up on Thursday, June the 18th. We hope you have a great Ramadan and get get to spend some of the time with your family. There was an intense basketball game yesterday between the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Golden State won, and Steve, Stephen Curry scored 37 points in the victory. Hey, let's see the video. Iguodala ahead to Curry. James in pursuit, and Curry lays it in. They cut their rotation. And so it's very interesting as Curry with a beautiful cut and pass by Livingston. You know what this reminds me of? When Magic Johnson played, started at the center position. Don't do that. No, no, no. Why not? As Curry hits a three. Don't do that. No, no, why not? This guy is the center on the floor right now, and he's also running the point guard position. Curry for three. Got knocked down, and still nailed it. Curry steps back. Bang! Rebound, Curry! James mistimed his jump, but he thought he got pushed from behind. J.R. Smith, who came off the bench in the first half, begins here in the third. Stephen Curry on a pull-up, knocks it down. Curry now 7 of 10 from the field. The coach, if you're another Warriors defender, somebody's got to come over. Nobody can guard LeBron James in that situation. Curry again, this time connects. But to me, Mozgov's got to come into the pick and roll right there. Curry pulls up, that's good. And Steve Kerr wants Harrison Barnes to be the guy catching the basketball off the rotation. Curry steps back. Ha-ha! Stephen Curry with some magic. Curry splits the defense, goes down the lane, left-handed, banks it in. He's got 27. Curry looking for that opening. Steps back. Crossover, fires away. Wow! Another three from Curry! Curry for three. Bang! Exclamation point! Curry with the pop, boy. Alright, guys, have a good Monday and good luck with your work and exams. Darren, where are you at? The outro video is called Beauty and the Beat by Najma. And so cute.